Let's assume that we have a project that has a free cash flow of negative 100 at year zero, which is our initial investment, and 40 million at the end of each year for the next three years. And our discount rate is 9%. We would like to calculate net present value and internal rate of return. So our NBV is equal. We will use our built-in function, which is called net present value, NBV, open bracket. It shows the rate, which is 9%, comma, highlight the values from period one, not from period zero. So I like it here from period one. In our example, it will be year one, the last year, close bracket, plus our initial investment. So here it will give us NBV is 1.25. So what do we mean by NBV bigger than zero? If NBV is positive, it means that we will accept this project. Why will accept this project? Because this means that we will have value creation. If we're going to invest in this project, the wealth of our shareholders will be higher. It will create value. What about internal rate of return? We'll say here equal IRR, open bracket, highlight all values from time zero to last period. So here, our IRR is 9.7. I can compare IRR with our discount rate. So our IRR is bigger than our cost of capital or discount rate or WAC. 9.7 is bigger than 9%. Therefore, we could say that every time NBV is bigger than zero, IRR must be bigger than our discount rate. What will happen if we say that our discount rate is 10%? So what will be our net present value at discount rate of 10%? We'll say equal net present value, open bracket, it choose our rate, which is 10%, comma, highlight all values from period one to last period, close bracket, plus our initial investment. Our NBV is negative. So what do we mean by NBV is lower than zero? It means that we will reject this project. Why? It's value destruction. What do we mean by value destruction? If we're gonna invest in this project, this would lead to decreasing our wealth. So let's calculate our internal rate of return. Equal IRR, open bracket, highlight all values from period zero to last period. It's the same. So IRR is not affected by discount rate. So let's look here. What's the relationship between IRR and discount rate? IRR is lower than cost of capital or discount rate. So we could say that every time NBV is negative, our IRR is lower than our discount rate. What if our discount rate is 9.7%? Let's calculate our net present value. If NBV, open bracket, it choose the rate, comma, highlight values from year one to last year, close bracket, plus initial investment. So NBV is equal to zero. In this case, we will be indifferent, which means if we invest in this project, we're not going to make a gain, but we're not going to make a loss. Therefore, this will be value maintenance. What about IRR? Let's say equal IRR, open bracket, highlight all our cash flow from year zero to last year is 9.7. What's its relationship with our discount rate? They are equal. So IRR is equal to cost of capital. And that's why it's very important to know the relationship between NBV and internal rate of return, as well as how to calculate them using Excel.